Okay, so you have the computer, you have the software. What else do you need? There are some things that you need to have and there are some things that are just quite nice to have. Um, the good news is that the things you need to have, 99.99% of you are already going to have in some form or another. And the most obvious is something to let you hear what you're actually making. So from the top, the best thing that you could probably go for would be monitors. Now you may have or associate monitor with a screen that you see. Um, the the concepts the same. You, you're looking at something with a monitor and you're you know monitoring it. Think of professional audio monitors as listening to what's really going on with your music. Hi-fi speakers are designed to sound nice, uh, help you suit your personal preference and so on. But with music production, we really need to hear at the very basic level what's happening to the sound because we need it then to transfer to everything else to the hi-fi speakers that allow you to then adjust to your preference you need a solid basis though now monitors can cost anywhere from 100 pounds a pair up to silly six figure sums so i'm not advocating that you you spend that um, and if you can't spend anything that's that's not a problem either because if you've got a hi-fi of some kind, then the likelihood is you'll have some way of getting audio into it. Uh, you'll have an auxiliary input or an audio input, and uh, we'll do a cutaway so that you can see some of the ways that you can expect to be able to plug audio from your computer into your hi-fi and repurpose it as a way to listen to yourself making music. Now, when I first started making music, uh, 15 odd years ago, I started on those little beige and grey computer speakers that sound worse than the old clockwork radios from, from the 1930s. Um, and everything I made sounded terrible, but I had loads of fun making it. There's absolutely no reason why you have to jump to the ultimate quality um, straight away. If you've got a, a stereo that costs, you know, 50, 60 pounds, um, then it's going to probably do you well for quite a long time. Um, but if you do have any questions about maybe what monitors you want to buy, uh, just jump over to our forums and, and we'll give you the heads up. Um, the other option, of course, would be headphones. Now, the good news is that a comparable quality of headphone compared to uh, a professional monitor is probably a lot cheaper. You'll get a fairly decent uh, approximation of studio quality sound for as little as you know £40, £60, $70 from uh, headphones that are designed for professional audio monitoring. Now once again you can spend just crazy amounts of money on studio headphones, but there's no real burning need to do so. The main two types of headphones that you'll come across when it comes to audio uh, monitoring are closed back and open back headphones. Now, it's pretty much what it sounds like. A closed back headphone is one that's got solid um, plastic or maybe even metal backing. So sound gets trapped in the ear cups and goes straight into your ears. And open back headphones, I've got meshed backs, the sound's a lot more open and it sort of bleeds into the surrounding area a little bit. This is, it's, it's very much of an apples and oranges uh, situation really. Different people like different things. One thing that closed back headphones are better for, and it's why a lot of the lower to mid range headphones are close back and it's not until you start spending quite a lot of money that you get to have a real professional choice is that if you're recording with a microphone and you've got headphones on so that you can hear what you're doing if you've got close back headphones the audio is not going to bleed so much into the microphone and therefore back into your recording so that's worth a consideration if you are thinking about actually doing some audio recording with a microphone let's Imagine for a second that you really just haven't got any money at all for spare for headphones or anything yet. Have you got an iPod, an iPhone, an MP3 player? 
If you've got even those little headphones that pop into your head, then that's fine as well. It's anything is better than just listening to music coming out of your laptop or out of your computer's main speaker. It's not going to have to be perfect to make you have fun and to get you to the point where you can realise what it is that you want from an upgrade and that's the important thing. If you've got nothing at all except laptop speakers, just use those until you can afford something. It will be more fun to learn as you go and then get something new when you realise you need it than it will be to spend loads of money, get buyer's remorse and, uh, and throw everything away, never to, uh, never to see it again. Okay, so that's how to hear things.